Welcome to staff. I wanted to throw together a quick instructional on how to uh, plug in your new phone equipment. Um, so first of all, I'm going to unbox your phone as it could sh should come to you in the mail. First in the box, you're going to find the phone station itself. You want to take the phone station out. There will also be uh, a 15 foot ethernet cable and also the included 5 foot. Uh, you can use either one, whichever one is better for your setup. Uh, this is the stand which you'll want to put on the phone. Uh, unbag that. Turn the phone over and look at the way this, the stand and the notches line up. You'll see that these two are closer together and these are further apart. You want to match those on the stand and just simply snap it in. To the stand here. Here's your earpiece for the phone and the cable that you're going to want to use to plug it in. The long end of the cable is going to be plugged into the back of your phone itself, into the jack that has a phone symbol, handset symbol. Plug that in. And you can route the phone uh, cable in here to make it nice. I'm not going to. So this is good. And then on the phone, you want to plug this end of the cable into the phone itself. Press that in. Now your phone is assembled. Uh, the other piece is your, this phone will need to be plugged into uh, power, into a power outlet. So in this white box, you should find, well, there may not be a white box in yours, there's just going to be this adapter separately. So here's your adapter. You want to pull this out and this piece here. you're going to want to line up to where the grooves are sliding in this way. I'll clip right in. Untie this. Move this out of the way here. So this is your power adapter. So here's our power adapter. I'm going to plug this in here. And on the back of your phone, you're going to want to plug your power in right here. Plug that in. Okay. So now uh, the phone is plugged into power and it's assembled. The next step is, is we're going to want to connect it up to your internet connection because these phones work over the internet. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and use the smaller cable because the phone is close to my uh, modem and router. You should have a very similar setup uh, at your home. Uh, for, for your internet, you're going to have a modem. If you have Cova Comcast, it's going to be this Comcast modem here. If you have Quest or another provider, uh, it's going to be a different modem. And then you may also have a uh, wireless router, which would be something similar to this one here on top. So what you'll want to do is plug in your Ethernet cable. To the back of your phone first. The plug that you're going to want to use is the one that says SW. You're, those two plugs, one says PC and the other says SW. You want to use this SW, the one that stands for switch. So plug it into that port there. And then if you have a wireless router and you plug it into your wireless router, you're going to, you most likely will have up to four ports on the back. So you can plug it into any one of these four ports. If you're plugging it into a modem that has ports on it like this, you can also plug it into any one of those four ports. Uh, it's up to you and it depends on your setup. If you have, your internet port should already be plugged into your modem, so you won't want to use that port. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in to this port here, number one on the wireless router. And what will happen is your phone will say it's initializing network and that it's, uh, it'll say within about 30 seconds to a minute, that the network has been initialized. Um, the setup is not actually live, so I'm going to plug it into our live setup here at the office just so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so it's looking pretty
this.